loose rock here now. That should be fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Holy crap. some drone footage and then I promptly formatted the card when I got home by accident so I gotta go back and I'll do some uh, drone footage and do a little history on uh, the bridge. This is Nip again. It's north of Nip again. Normally I don't tell you where places are for liabilities. Don't need anybody suing me if they get hurt going somewhere. Don't do what I do. Don't copy me. This is just a, a warning. But you will see where this one is. Now to satisfy some of the, the poor babies that uh, cry about it and send hate email my way. I don't understand the hate, but whatever, just delete them. So, this is Nip again. We're going north and up again. I can't remember the name of the highway. You'll see it up here. I'm going to stop and get something to drink and eat before I go up. It's not very far up. Then you got to loop back down to the uh, the old line. Just going to stop with the Petrocan here. That's the highway 585. I have 85 north that way. Well, we're going in here first, so. Well, this road goes up to some pretty cool uh, dams, three dams along here, along the big Nipigon River. The bridge goes over the Nipigon River at one point. coming up to the road here. I don't think there's a name to the road. Well, it eight clicks or so up, I think. I didn't measure it.
loose rock. <laughs> been a while since I've uh, ridden gravel, loose gravel especially. I got loose rock here now. That should be fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> it's not a slide. Oh, that was nice, nice rock section. Wow. easier on a uh, four-wheeler. Bam. Wow. <laughs> Nasty, nasty rocks. <sighs> Nothing like riding a 480 pound bike on loose rocks. Supposed to be really warm today. Another 29, 30 degree day. Yeah, I think I see the block ahead. They had some blocks, one on each end of this bridge, but people have uh, slid them aside so they can get the ATVs by. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before uh, the blocks get slid back and more permanent stuff like posts and fence and dug up and uh, 
We're almost there and I'm still upright. <laughs> That's a good sign. Alright. This is the old bridge over the Nipigon River. across to the north side that was uh, <laughs> it was so bumpy and I put the uh, the drone controller on the tank bag and it wanted to bounce off I had to hold on to it so I'm driving one hand all the way across there glad I didn't hit anything go wee <laughs> more loose rock I love it Continuing on. I can't remember how far that road is. Whoa. You get up on the center here and it's really loose. I don't like it. Getting grown in. Ah, hard to ride the edge. I need to ride the edge because I can't ride on top. All that loose rock. Oh. We'll continue. I can't remember how far this road is, so I hope it's not too far, but. All right, well, I'll get back to you when I fall down or reach the road. Man, these loose rocks, holy crap. Rocks and trees and branches. And... I think there's a road coming up, I hope. That's just not the, not the kind of bike for this kind of stuff. Pretty grown in here. Oh, beaver dam right in the middle. <laughs> no water though. Oh, hang on. Oh, whack smack. I don't think that's the road, unfortunately. So we continue on over the down trees. Boom! boom. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, I see a dot coming up. Must have must have put a dot where the road actually is. So that's good. I see. Actually, I see a road down on the right there, or left. My Walmart right. Take a shortcut through the bush. <laughs> Almost to the road. Yeah, this is not the KLR kind of route. <laughs> And, and I don't have the uh, tires there down, so that doesn't help on the loose rock. 
but I think we're at the road. Fingers crossed. Yeah, that's a road. Right on. Made it alive. All right, now this road should take us to the to the dam. That's better. Woo. Coming up to a little, little bridge. What the hell is this? Road gated ahead. Well, the gate's open. Gotta get through here back to the highway. Coming up to where the dam is on the right. That's where the dam is that way. Paved road. And this is a bridge over the Nipigon River again. Wow, oh, she's flowing good through there. The heck is that thing there? Some kind of wrecked floaty. I can see the dam from over here. Yeah, a little bit. Go. Cool. Okay. Ontario Power Generation. The old uh, turbine. Alright, meet you back at Nipigon. Yeah, that dam I just came out at, that's the Cameron Falls Dam. This is the first dam. First dam dam generating station, whatever you want to call it. have a place where you can go down and this could be it. Oh, it's blocked off. Can't ride down there. This isn't it then. Thought they had a place. Be imagining it. 
my imagination. I ain't poor touching all this. <laughs> Walk down the road. Maybe, maybe. Well, this looks like a bolt launch here, yeah. Okay, looks like we can turn it on this one at least. Alexander Dam, that's the name of it. Let's see if we can see the dam from down here. Oh, there's the dam. The old log chute on the right. Somebody fishing up there. I'll get my other uh, camera so I can zoom in on that better. I don't know if I could launch my boat here or not. I thought I'd want to go on this river anyways, but looks pretty shallow. Okay, that's the Alexander Dam on the Nipigon River. The Nipigon River. There's a boat launch here. On the right of the dam is the old uh, log chute when they used to have logging on the river way back when. These are still active dams. Pipeline. That's pretty cool. Somebody's got some old log booms as uh, driveway markers. Another Bailey Bridge. Over a little creek. Back to Nipigon here. Just gonna go to the uh, reserve and get some cheaper gas than a buck seventy. Gas of a buck eighty. Holy crap! What the heck is going on? Rip off. We are getting ripped off and everything. See that correctly? Out viewing. I think you can view the uh, the marina and back to the bridge.
most important place is closed. <laughs> Down at the marina, the waterfront, Nipigon. Nice boats down there. Oh, it looks like they're building something here now. This used to be where all the boats sit. Not anymore. I don't know what they're doing there. Nice old anchor. They go up this walking trail a little bit. There's some old wooden boats in the bush there. They got the names on a plaque kind of thing. Kind of cool, the old fishing boats from Nipigon. Little dock, gravel boat launch, and the Nipigon Bridge in the distance. Nice cruisers there, the old Jim Dandy, that gray one there, the old fish tug. Must be putting all the boats there now. And that's about it for the marina. stars open. Used to be a really good restaurant here, but it's closed. They even have a Canadian tire. Hospital. We're back to the highway here. And that's Nipigon. <laughs> Not very big, interesting little town though. Just curious, just on that hill there, they used to have the uh, Dippigan Ski Hill. There was some old abandoned stuff there at one time. I don't know if it's there anymore since they redid the highway and everything. So we'll go take a look. They also put the, uh, the hydro line, the big hydro line transmission towers through here, so there they might have been ripped up, who knows. That's kind of interesting, the old road used to go in through here, so this corner. Yeah, they used an access there. Somewhere in there was the T-bar. This is where the clubhouse was, so let's take a little walk in here. Still here, surprisingly. All right, back on the highway. Cool off a little bit, maybe. The breeze. I'm sweating like crazy today. Got a black fly in my eyeball and can't get them out of there now. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, 
all kinds of construction along this highway between Nipigan and Thunder Bay. They're twinning, twinning this whole road. They started in 1980, I believe 1980. Well, it's been 40 years. It's getting there. Parts that have been twinned are really nice. That section looks like it's almost ready. Got another few kilometers before winter, anyways. 